Hi guys, today's video is going to be about playing the ball after the fence. Now this is a difficult shot because obviously the ball bounces off unpredictably and so you really have to react to the type of ball that comes off the fence. But there are a few things you can do that will help you anticipate that shot and ideally get you to play a good shot off that next ball. The first thing you can do is anticipate the speed. You can't anticipate the rebound because you don't know what's going to happen, but at least with the speed you have a rough idea of how much it's going to bounce off that fence. For example, if there's a drop shot that bounces and it just gently touches the fence, you know that it's not going to fly away, it's probably going to stay close to that fence. Whereas if someone were to hit a top spin smash, you know that it's likely to bounce away from that. So if you set up according to that distance from the fence. So for example, a soft one, you'd stay nice and close to the fence trying to react to that ball. And if it's harder, you might give yourself a little bit more space so that the ball can come away from the fence slightly when you play that shot. The second thing you could do is to have your racket on the take back position a lot closer to the contact. So don't have it all the way back because if the ball were to bounce down then you have to really rush your swing. Whereas if the racket is just behind contact when it bounces off you only have to have a small blocking motion forward and you can play that ball. The third piece of advice for this shot is if the ball were to bounce off and it comes away then take your time. Often people when it hits the fence they run in and they rush that shot and therefore they miss it unnecessarily. Whereas half the time the ball will bounce off and it will come up or it will give you a bit more time and when that happens take your time on that shot. Still select where you're going to play because then you could potentially be an advantage in the point. I hope this video helps and please check out some more of our defending videos.